Big story we're following. New Yorkers can now apply for the new enhanced driver's license. News for Melissa Holmes is live at the Peace Bridge with the latest. Melissa? Well, Lisa, they've only been available for a couple of hours, but already more than 100 New Yorkers have applied for the new enhanced driver's license. Officials say that they'll make crossing borders like here at the Peace Bridge safer and faster. Now, starting June 2009, federal law will require you to either have the enhanced driver's license or a passport to enter into the U.S. from Canada, the Caribbean, or Bermuda. Now, the new enhanced driver's license has a special radio frequency chip inside that will make it faster at the border crossings. Now, for a regular renewal, the enhanced license costs $80. That's $30 more than a regular license, but a passport costs more than $100. Now, a birth certificate will suffice at the border until June 2009, and it will always be accepted for children under 16. Now, it used to be that 8,000 forms of ID were accepted at the border, but come June, it, that number will only be six. But why should a traveler pick an enhanced license over a passport, a Nexus card, or a new passport card? Enhanced driver's license makes the most sense because it is a multiple use document. Again, citizenship, identity can be used for driving. It surpasses the other applications of all those other documents. And we encourage uh, residents uh, of the state of New York who are U.S. citizens to get one. You don't need to rush in today. Yes, it's an exciting day. It's September 16th. It's probably the first on your block to have one. I understand that. But you really don't need it until June of 2009. Now, once you apply for the enhanced driver's license, you should receive it in about two weeks. Now, when you go to the DMV to apply, you'll need to bring several forms of documentation. And so you're asked to go to the DMV's website or the Erie County Clerk's website to check out what those documents are. It'll make your time at the DMV a lot easier. We linked the Erie County Clerk's website to our website, WIBB.com. Reporting live at the Peace Bridge, Melissa Holmes, News 4 at noon. All right, thanks for the update on that, Melissa. Now, if you still have questions about these new licenses, We'll help you get them answered. Erie County Clerk Kathy Hulkle will be on WIVB.com tonight live from 5 to 6.15 to answer all of your questions. So log on.